Hey friends, welcome to my channel. Let's get crafting. These are the supplies we're gonna be using today. Long wood stakes and some shelf brackets that I picked up from the local home improvement store. Go ahead by starting with cutting them open and taking two of those long stakes and cut off the tips. These are gonna be the pieces of wood that go all the way across that picket fence that makes it look like it. And then the extra ones that we have inside the pack, we're gonna just space those all out, making sure they're nice and straight and even and leveled the best you can. And then you're gonna take some wood glue and put them on first, and then a little bit of hot glue for that short-term, long-term hold. Make sure everything's in position and then go ahead and hammer everything down with a nail that has a nice wide top nail head. You wanna make sure that if you use a smaller nail, you don't want the nail head to be little because when you do, over time, if it gets dropped or moved, those nail heads will maybe slip or break out. So I like to use a nice wide nail head and you're gonna do two on every single one of those joints. This way it's super sturdy and super strong. And this whole project cost me about $8.50 to make, which is just so fun. Now we're gonna take another stick and we are gonna measure it down the insides of those outer stakes. We want it to be just short enough that it would fit right in between those two end spots because that's gonna become the brace, the feet at the bottom of this picket fence. So first I cut down that line and then I also cut down four more pieces that were all the same size. These are the feet that we need that is gonna be able to make it stand up nice and strong without it falling over or having any issues with having to lean it on your house or anything like that. So what I'm doing is, again, adding some wood glue, adding some hot glue, and then I'm coming in with my staple gun and I'm making sure I'm stapling it in certain places so that it is nice and snug on there. And when you're done, it should look like a giant letter I. Now at this point, I can go ahead and bring on the bracket and the fence. I had my son actually holding it for me so that I didn't have any issues with it falling over. And then I'm gonna just go ahead and screw in my screws so that way it's nice and tight. Well, as you can see here, it's standing up without any issues and it is super sturdy, friends. I was so excited how sturdy this thing was. I kind of saw it in my head. I was hoping it was gonna be nice and strong and secure and it actually was. So now at this point, I can go ahead and paint. You're gonna see my family walking back and forth a lot and you're also gonna see from this angle my giant cup of water that I always keep next to me whenever I'm crafting. I love water. And here it is out on my front porch. Now this is just the first part of this video. The second part is gonna be doing a DIY to decorate it for the 4th of July. I am so excited to be able to decorate this all throughout the year. Now I wanna announce that we are teaming up, Casey and I from Coffee With My Sunshine, using trash to create treasure. The playlist is going to go live on June 25th at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Remember, these are the rules. Please do play along with the rules. And don't forget, today is the DIY challenge. There is a playlist that is linked down below in the description box. Head on down there and see all the projects that everyone is doing for this red, white, and blue theme. Now moving on to the next DIY. I am gonna be using these flags, two of them from the Dollar Tree. There's two in a pack for a dollar. And then I'm also using these two star banners and some twine. Start by taking the flags off of the sticks. Hold on to those sticks because they are really nice and we can use them for a DIY on another day. And go ahead and gather up on the blue side first. I just gathered it together and added little tiny dots of hot glue, not too much there. And then I'm gonna flip it over and then start going back and forth with like a zigzag to create that pleated gathering up around the side. You can see that on the side where the stripes are, I didn't bring it all together like I did on the side where the blue is because I wanted to be able to create that swag look in the fabric. So here I am, I actually was using my pliers there just to kind of pinch it down a little bit because I didn't want to burn my fingers and sometimes I do, but the majority of the time, friends, I actually don't burn my fingers. 
fingers. I have really, really tough hands from the years that I worked in restaurants. Leave a comment down below to let me know if you've worked in a restaurant as a teenager and if your hands are just as tough as can be when it comes to the heat of things because I just seriously, hot things don't bother my hands. So here I am at this point, I took those stars off of that burlap wrap that they were on and I'm just gluing them together how I like them and adding a loop for the twine on the backside so I can hook them onto my fence. And then once I've got those all on and nice and tight, I'm gonna go ahead and add some hot glue right in between them and bring them together in the center so that way they go all the way across my fence. Now we're gonna head outside where the fence is on my porch. I'm gonna add a long wreath. I have this cute welcome sign that I picked up last year around Christmas time. I just zip tied that right on. And then I'm adding on my cute flags with the stars. Thank you so much for watching this video today. If you missed yesterday's video, I showed even more 4th of July front porch DIYs during my summer DIY daily series where I'm posting here Monday through Friday. And if you haven't already, come on by on Instagram and say hi to me. I love to see what you all are doing and it's the greatest way to be able to tag me if you try any of these projects. And don't forget, go down and click on the link in the description box to check out the DIY challenge today with the red, white, and blue theme. I wanna say thank you to everyone who played along and until the next episode, bye friends.